Hey guys, what's up? My name is Elsie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you're not, I'm so glad you're here. Today, I... Today, I am going to be doing a college evening and night routine. Um, I'm gonna run through like dinner and some homework and do some like skincare tonight. I don't have like anything to go to tonight, so it's gonna be a pretty chill night, but that's how most of my nights are. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for one. I'm gonna make dinner first. Tonight we're having pancakes and eggs and some fruit. Hey, what are you doing in there? What are you doing? Ow! <laughs> Oren's opening up his Easter present that I got him. Got him a picnic basket <laughs> with the whole plates and sets and everything. <laughs> Look at these two little tiny jars of Nutella that my mom got us for Easter. It's really important. I'm saying a little I mean, you can do I am not gonna have this angle in it. <laughs> Can they see me? blueberries to his not mine and then we're eating it with some mango or said it's probably the best mango he's ever had in his life so we'll see we'll see okay so we finished eating dinner and it's about 7 40 now and we're going to get gas for my car because it is on dash 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 miles left <laughs> so <laughs> i really need some gas Hopefully we make it there. Oren was right. That was probably the best mango I've ever had in my life. Um, it was pretty good mango. And then after we get gas, we're gonna go to the library and we're gonna work on some homework because I know if I don't actually go somewhere and do it, it's not gonna get done, especially since there are extra credit things. And then I just won't do them. But I'm going to tonight because we're gonna go to the library. But we have library, but we have to get gas first. Alright guys, I am back from the library now. It is about 10.15. Um, I'm getting kind of tired. I did finish my two assignments that I needed to get done and I also did some wedding things. So I looked up some signage. Mostly what's left of wedding planning now is just kind of like decorations and the little things. Um, I did finalize what the groomsmen are going to wear tonight and I sent them all the links to everything that they need to get so that's out of the way so hopefully, I don't know, I'm like stressing out for some reason that somebody's going to get the wrong thing or it's going to sell out or something, I don't know, I'm like really scared but so I'm stressing out a little bit about that but uh, yeah, so I think that um, what's left on my to-do list is 
well, film this video, which I'm doing right now, and then edit and uh, take a thumbnail for this video, which I literally have to say that separately because I'm so bad at taking thumbnails. And even though I still put it on my to-do list separately, I normally forget. So hopefully I don't forget this time. I got some pretty exciting packages in the mail today, though, that I do want to share with you guys. So first off, first exciting package, I got three books. I'm so excited. It is The Safest Lies by Megan Miranda, Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas, and Vanishing Girls by Lisa Reagan. And I have two more coming in the mail. So I'm really excited for when school gets out and I can actually read those. If you guys watched my I'm Feeling 2022 video, you will know that one of my resolutions this year was to read 10 books. So far, I've read one, but it took me less than 24 hours, so I'm really not worried about it. I feel like I'm gonna read a lot over the summer. And then my next exciting package that I got was from WMP Eyewear, which stands for Wear Me Pro Eyewear. They sent me a pair of sunglasses, and I am now like a brand ambassador for them. So if you guys ever need some sunglasses, use my code LCJane20 for 20% off at WMP Eyewear. Um, I really do think these are good quality sunglasses. I'm sorry, this is a horrible angle right now. They are good quality. I really like them. My face is really small, and obviously with this outfit, it's not it. <laughs> okay, before I tell you, <laughs> before I go shower, I have to tell you the story that just happened, guys. I wish that you could have seen this, but I was washing my towels, right? And I threw a little laundry detergent pod in there, and it hit the thing that sticks up in the middle of the washer, and hit it at the perfect angle that it went like doop, right through the crack. And the crack like goes behind this mini thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, what if there's like wires down there and it's gonna burst or something and it's gonna catch the house on fire. Like I was so worried about this thing, right? So then I told one of my roommates and I was like, um, so I just did this, I need your help. Like, I don't know what to do. And so we figured out that it fell down there. Like, it fell beneath the dryer, so or the washer, so we could, like, get it out, and it wasn't going to cause any problems, so I started the washer, we were like, okay, well, let's get this thing out. So we found a pin underneath the washer, um, and then, so he goes, oh, I found a sock, and pulls it out, and keeps pulling, and we're like, girl, that ain't a sock. They were so, they were, they were men's underwear. And let me tell you, these things were rusty, crusty, dusty. Like, these things were old. We have no idea whose underwear they were under our dryer, but those things have been there for so long. And so we went and showed our other roommate and um, some of the people that are over right now because they're all working on homework. And yeah, but we ended up getting the laundry pod from beneath the washer. We had to get the fly swatter out from behind the fridge where it was stuck first, and then we used that to get the, it was an adventure, let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna actually go put my whitening strips on now and brush my teeth and whatnot and take a shower, but yeah, that just happened. I would just. Are you vlogging? I just like to. Do I need to be on your YouTube channel? Um, I'm not prepared for this. I didn't do my makeup I don't today. Think she, I don't think she's vlogging her feet. Make sure Let's to hit that it. notification button. She's selling um, feet pics. Anyways, <laughs> I'm filming a night routine video. So if anybody hears me talking in the bathroom about what skincare <laughs> products I use, I'm not talking to myself. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Okay, so I'm talking quietly because I just feel so weird talking when people are out there, but I'm going to use the Crest 3D White Strips, one of the uh, white and 12 levels wider. Um, it says it's best if you do not brush your teeth immediately before applying these, but I'm running out of time, and by the time I take these off, it's going to be like midnight, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it right now and set a timer for an hour because that's how long I have to have them on. <laughs> I feel so weird and I feel like I talk differently when these are on but I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower now. I don't think I dried my teeth enough before putting them on but we'll just have to see. <laughs> okay. While I was showering I 
used the Clinique cleanser. Uh, my mom gave it to me. I have been using the Atique facial bar cleanser because I love their shampoo and conditioner bars, but my face has been really, really dry the past couple of months. Like, it always gets dry in the winter, but more than normal. And I'm starting to think that um, that was the problem. So I'm trying out this new cleanser. Um, and so far, I really like it. And it doesn't dry my face out, I don't think, as much as the other one. But my next step for my skincare routine is um, exfoliating. Guys, look at my little skincare corner i think it's so cute i literally have just started to get into skincare so we're kind of new to this i'm going to use the winky Lux orange you beautiful gentle vitamin c exfoliator i just basically dampen my face and then scrub this on and leave it on for about two to three minutes and then i rinse it off so I have 37 minutes left on my timer for these. Guys, I really love that exfoliator. It's so nice. Next up in my routine, I'm going to use the low hydrolonic, <laughs> I can't speak, low hyaluronic, low hyaluronic tangerine booster serum from Suroki. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. I got it in my Ipsy, um, but it doesn't want to focus right now. This I got, I bought myself from Ulta. This I got in my Ipsy. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my face. If you guys have any tips or any products that are good for really, really dry skin, let me know because I desperately need some, especially since I don't want to have dry skin in my wedding pictures. So for my moisturizer, I'm using the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion for normal to dry skin. I love this stuff. I've been using it for probably about a year now and it's really nice. And the very last step in my skincare routine, I'm going to be applying this Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I got this in my Etsy. Obviously it's like the try size but i've used it a few times and i really like it and it is very hydrating so i'm gonna throw some of that on and then i'm gonna be done with my skincare since i still have a while to take off my um whitening strips i think i'm just gonna edit i'm getting pretty tired so after i edit and then take these off and brush my teeth again i'll probably just go to bed also look at what Oren got me for easter Got me and baby Yoda Squishmallow. Okay guys, I took my teeth whitener strips off and I am ready for bed. I'm so tired. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really, really appreciate it. If you liked it, please like it. You know, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, especially if you have any of those skincare tips or products for dry skin that you think are really good and you want to share, go ahead and share those with me because I need all the help I can get. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video, which should be a Makeup Monday one. So I'm going to go to bed. Good night.